When you hear about changing your life by drinking a concoction of oranges and olive oil, or like Bruce Wayne and Batman with his mysterious morning drink of who knows what, drinking it down through sheer willpower, or maybe you've tried putting raw eggs in a smoothie before to enhance your workout routine. Yeah, it might be a good habit, but these things are not for everyone. And if you want to change your life in big or small ways, look no further than grabbing some small habits for your daily routine that you can sustain. When they're practical and sustainable, you'll do them. Here are my five personal favorites. The first one is grounding, or some people call it earthing. Grounding refers to the practice of connecting your bare skin to the earth's surface, typically by walking barefoot in the grass or dirt or sand. A 2014 Research studies suggested that grounding may absorb negative ions and actually have some anti-inflammatory effects, improving sleep quality and even reducing stress. It is believed that grounding focuses on the Earth's electrical charge. The Earth's surface tends to have a negative electrical charge while our bodies often accumulate positive charges. Proponents believe that connecting with the earth and your bare feet allows these charges to balance somehow, potentially leading to health benefits. How do you do it? I've even done it in the snow, not, not for long, but did a few seconds. And it's harder in cold climates. If you're gonna do it, go outside in the morning, begin like five minutes or less. You're gonna rub your feet in the grass. Integrate this grounding into your daily routine, perhaps walking barefoot in your yard for just a few moments after you're waking up or even before bed. And then listen to your body. Pay attention how you feel after you do this. If you find it relaxing and energizing, continue it. An extra tip on this that I have actually done and I am certain this works. When you travel and first get off an airplane after landing at your destination, take off your shoes and rub your feet on whatever carpet you can find moments after landing and you will actually feel great. There is something to it. I used to do this with traveling a lot. Give it a try. Let me guess, you're here because you want to feel more energetic with little effort? This next one's for you, my friend. This is simple and sustainable. Sunlight exposure in the morning. One of my favorite podcasters, Andrew Huberman, who makes science accessible for everyday people like you and me, says to step outside within the first hour of waking up in the morning and get some sunshine on your face for just a few moments. He says that aligning light exposure with your circadian rhythm helps suppress melatonin production and signals to your body that it's daytime. Even a few minutes in early morning of sunlight can be beneficial. Although he does emphasize the importance of consistency, trying to get exposure about the same time will help regulate your sleep-wake cycle. Okay, what are you doing, climates? Where it's winter with little sun, like where I happen to be. Well, when you do have sun, stand in a window and bask in the sunshine, even for a few moments. You can also consider getting a full spectrum layout with those special bulbs or even red light therapy in cold months. The point is try to do this as often as you can for better health. Do you ever feel like your head is going to explode because of your to-do list and it's nearly impossible to achieve everything on it? You'll enjoy this small habit that's easy to implement. How many I'll do it later things are on your to-do list? While your brain is preoccupied with these unanswered emails you did take a quick look at, or dirty dishes on the counter, or taking out the trash that needs to be done, or making an easy decision. Even though they might seem insignificant, you're touching them over and over again in your mind, distracting you from more important tasks. Yeah, I'll do this. This next habit has really helped me, and it's called the do it now theory, or as some call it, one touching. This concept focuses on reducing decision fatigue and suggests that tackling any task that can be completed in two minutes or less immediately, rather than putting it on a to-do list, will free up your mind. Like typing a quick response to that email, putting dishes in the dishwasher, pay that bill real quick. Anything that you can make a quick decision on and be done with it will free you up. Most of these things we touch two or three or four times. Like we'll open an email, we'll read it and say, oh, I'll get back to replying later. This is like too many touches on the same task. If we would just open it, reply and be done, you'd be amazed at the time you get back and how your focus and concentration improves to get this stuff off of your brain. You know what I'm talking about. Now, let me guess, you're here because you had one of the following thoughts. I need a break, I'm burned out. Maybe you've got brain fog and coffee just isn't hitting the mark lately. This next point will definitely help you. And I find this to be very easy and 
I can do it, you can do it anytime, anywhere. This is the power of the pause. This is a hidden productivity hack. We're all constantly reacting from one task to the next and it feels like, how can we stay on top of things? Power of the pause is about creating intentional moments and space in your day to interrupt the autopilot mode that we all get on and cultivate a more mindful approach. Think of it as enhanced decision-making. When faced within a situation, a knee-jerk reaction can often lead to poor choices. A pause allows us to step back, assess it calmly, and consider different options before formulating a thoughtful response. We've all been here. This is especially beneficial for high pressure situations where you want to avoid impulsiveness. One benefit is improved focus. Our brains are bombarded with stimuli constantly. This pause acts like a mental reset button. Taking a few deep breaths or focusing on our surroundings for just a moment clears your mind of distractions, allowing you to refocus on the task at hand. Another benefit is reduced stress. Since our bodies are constantly bombarded with stress hormones, when we're in the go mode, pausing and taking a few deep breaths activates the reaction response in the nervous system, lowering the stress hormones and promoting a sense of calm. This can help you manage challenging situations with greater composure and emotional intelligence. Now, are you someone who's had trouble sleeping lately? If this is you, then consider this next hack. Prime your sleep environment. Sleep quality significantly impacts how you feel and how you function in the day. Create a sleep sanctuary. When I come back from my house in the evening, after being outside for a long time, hours on end, working on my koi pond and hacking down invasive vines, the first thing I do is run a nice bath with favorite bath salts and wind down. Then about an hour before bed, I dim the lights throughout the house and then try my best to avoid screens as much as possible, putting devices in another room, trying about an hour before sleep. If you do a few stretches or a little light reading before bed, before final lights out, these small pre-sleep routines signal your body it's time to relax and prepares you for a more restful night's sleep. I enjoy bringing in more micro habits to help my productivity and energy to produce more work and higher goals in my life. It's definitely not worth skipping the sleep habit and the others are great too. That is all for today, friends. Do with this what you will.